Great morning. Today is Wednesday, January 16th. So let's see what the cards have to say today. Well, today we have a little different than the message we've been getting. Um, so where to begin with this? Oh, to make this Okay, let's start here. Curse. <laughs> let's start with the curse. <laughs> okay. The curse is, you know, something that you take in, that your mind grasps to, and you see it as valid. You give it validity. So the way the curses work is somebody tells you something you're cursed you take it in then what happens your imagination here we go the journey the imagination starts running wild this thing started as a seed now it's growing and what feeds it your attention to it continues to feed it water it take care of it weeding the garden <laughs> And you let this curse grow, 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 until it consumes you, okay? So, you know, this is something, but you, this is something you have the potential to change. A curse is only valid, and this is the first time this card's come up in here, potential. What's inside there? Are you going to let some errant words become valid by imagination okay or are you going to see the potential to change that okay and it can be changed I don't know how many times I've had these ones that are supposed to be black magicians and all these other things try to curse me Okay, <laughs> I just laugh at them, you know, because, you know, when you don't take it in, it can't gain entrance, but because they believe in it, because they are banking on it, it goes back to them. When it can't gain entrance, it goes back to the sender, okay? So again, this is not something you take in, these curse to plant a seed and let it grow in imagination until it gets roots and uh, things. You stifle it immediately. And you do the potential to change. Okay, change the, change the narrative. Okay, understand as well, Otter Spirit, that you're never alone. You know, we always are surrounded by nature, by animals, by... You know, God's spirit is right there in the heart of being, okay? So you're never alone unless you sit there and put yourself in aloneness in a toxic way, okay? But we're never alone. And full moon is completion. Anything that completes, and you can complete a curse by, you know, shutting it down. You have a cycle, it completes, but then what happens? Does the full moon stay once it gets to completion? Or is that just the completion of one cycle and then it's on to something new? Okay. It's always in a cycle, whether it's a life cycle, you're born, you live your life, you know, the, the body at some point in time gives up the ghost you know, it's like a, it's like a car. A car is not going to run forever. You're going to have things that break down and then you leave the vehicle and you go on to a new vehicle and start the cycle over again. Okay. So understand that everything comes in cycles. The newness start, you go through the center and then you go to the end and then you start a new cycle. Okay. So completion completion 
We run the gamut to completion. No matter what we're involved with, we're never alone. There's always someone. There's always something there with you. I like the otter spear. He's cute. Um, even, you know, if it's God, if it's nature, if it's your pets, whatever, there's always someone or something else there with you. You are never alone, okay? Find the potential with whatever is coming up. See the different avenues, the different doors. Everything that presents itself brings different doors that you can walk through. What, what door are you going to choose? Because anything that comes up has different potentials. Again, imagination. Watch your imagination. What journey is it going to take you on? Okay. And the curse. Understand that the curse is only a curse as long as you gravitate to that and you feed it. You know, sometimes curses are basically kind of a left-handed blessing. Sometimes we say, oh, I've gone through so much trauma, I've been cursed or whatever. It's a left-handed blessing if you use it as a way to start looking deeper, challenging, dispelling, looking at, and changing the narrative, okay? So even the so-called curse can be used as a way to go deeper, to change the narrative on your journey. Okay. So no matter what's coming up in your life, look at the potential of what it's bringing and choose wisely because we always have free will to make choices no matter what the situation is. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope everyone's having a great morning. I will see you online. Aho! Have a great day.